Just Start over. <laughs> you, as it does it, you can tell me. We're here with Sato High School Roller Coaster Project, and we're getting a little demonstration and a discussion of how this all works. So tell me. Okay, so this roller coaster is fans across three classes. It's okay. Just keep talking. Yeah. So um, basically, it goes across POE, algebra, principles and of engineering, algebra, and physics. Uh huh. So. See, what we had to go through, to make this track, we had to understand different type of algebraic functions. Uh -huh. So that... Oh. Wait, what happened? Oh, I think he pressed the button. Oh, yeah. Detected it too early, so... Yeah. It's okay. So, uh, we had to make the different types of, the different types of slopes for this. Uh-huh. For physics, we had to understand exactly how fast it was going to be moving throughout the track. Uh -huh. And for principles of engineering, we had to, well, put it all together and also code this. Seeing it yeah. using sensors. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. I love it. So exciting. It, it is. It was exciting. Watching it work for the first time was... Yes. It was horrible. Because so, yesterday and, in the morning, it was not working. Ah. Uh, but... <laughs> When we had to present it, it started working. I love so, yeah, it. Look, yeah. I love it when something goes from not working to working. Yeah. Oh, the surprise result. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so right now it's just going through some palms by uh, It's okay! You get this! Oh. <laughs> okay. Roller coaster! Now we just have to get it I back on the Ready with a second ball. <laughs> As a team, for this project, we were supposed to make it. Look, well, actually, there is a second ball. It's in this cup. <laughs> uh, could you modify the cup? Uh, that cup actually we made ourselves. We 3D printed it, uh -huh. and um, we got stuck in there. We could have modified it. Like 9:30. We could have modified it on the last minute. It's just that uh, we had like. Five minutes to yeah. turn this in. The sand uh -huh. you shipped it in time. Oh no, it's waking though, it's waking! Yeah! There we go. Woo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Ah! Okay, let's leave at 9.30. Uh, ROVs, so these are remote uh, operated vehicles. R O V. So we would take them underwater, right? Uh huh. And we would uh, move these switches so that this would uh, reverse the motor, this would make the motor go forward. And so it would be wired up to here. So we would make it do various objectives where we have to pick up like a little PVC hook and stuff from the bottom of the pool. And bring it to us. Okay, pick up a what? Like a little PVC hook. And did, were you able to do it? A lot of times, yes. Did you have to have an, a claw that opened? And closed, or was it? It's just like we can have something like this where it's just. I see. Uh, we hook on that. Mm, okay. That's great, thank you. We had like various ideas, like we have a iPhone case here. Oh, yeah, I have, those are very sturdy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, so. We just need a bunch of space from underneath to uh, wire up everything and uh -huh. make sure that all the wires are touching and not touching. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that we uh -huh. hopefully control it like this. Wait, you, what kind of battery did you use? Uh, I believe it's 12 volt. Yeah, okay. Wait, it, can I see it? Oh, you don't have them here? Okay. How big are they? Okay, like um, a car battery? Oh, okay. This is part of a Mesa competition and uh, it's uh, constructing a prosthetic arm. These rockets were designed by the team, so you can see 3D printed parts on the bottom. And then, so they've been going through some design iterations on it. Oh, that's amazing. We don't 